there are fridges, and then there are fridges. Sub-Zero combines the industrial look of stainless steel with the performance and convenience for the home. The Pro 48 is one gorgeous appliance. It almost makes a trip to the fridge something to look forward to. Pro 48 is, is an iconic product. It, it, it is built with such precision and, and quality and performance levels that has the knocks your socks off look of commercial combined with performance. The Pro 48 protects your food like a vault, and there's not a design element missed. There's probably more manpower and number of hours put in to make a Pro 48 than any other refrigerator. Every weld is hand welded. There's over 80 welds, stainless inside and out. There's the hinging, the, the, the fine lines in the handles. It's, it's delivered in such an elegant way. It's elegant for sure. But the Pro 48 is not just an ordinary fridge wearing a tuxedo. Inside is a feast of technology. We've got completely stainless steel, spill-proof shelves. We've got microprocessor control that controls temperatures to plus or minus one degree. So we have dedicated refrigeration systems for the freezer side and the refrigerator side. Refrigerators have come a long way since the icebox. Sub-Zero was founded in 1945 in Wisconsin by a clever tinkerer named Westy Thackey, the son of Norwegian immigrants. During the Depression, he taught himself some engineering principles. He had a very modest background, eighth grade education. He also had done some work in the area of sales. Westy started out by making coolers for the local dairy industry. His eight can milk cooler was a hit among farmers. Also, he saw the need for true freezers in a home setting, started his desire to develop a freezer. And he did that in his basement in the early 1940s. Backy hand built the first chest style freezer ever made. Then he was called into service for World War II, and eating spoiled food in the trenches only made him more determined to develop cooler ways to store perishable food. On his return home from the war, there was a more urgent personal need for home refrigeration. His young son was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes. His son, Bud Baki, needed insulin. And one of the things that got um, Westy interested in bringing it into the home was his family himself, because he would have to travel to get that insulin and provide it and bring it back to the home quite often. Driven by the need to care for his son, Baki started building dual compressor units, which combined refrigerators and freezers. He was also the first to design fridge drawers. We've invented using drawers in refrigeration over many, many years, different slide combinations and closer combinations, and we feel we've you know, fine-tuned that to the point where when that drawer is pushed closed, you're guaranteed a locked tight seal. By the 1950s, the Sub-Zero Fridge Company was providing stylish home refrigeration, and today they make everything from high-end fridges to wine coolers. Here in Madison, Wisconsin, the production process starts with fabrication. It takes about 300 square feet of stainless steel to make each fridge. First, the steel gets cut down to size, either by punch press or by laser. Laser cutting can make holes, oblongs, cutting parts off of a large piece of steel. You get a very clean cut, it's a very fast cut, and what you don't get in laser is features, features like little dimples or little notches. Then it's over to the press brakes for bending. Press brakes form bends and forms them into usable parts. Now on the doors or on the drawers, once the, the bends are made, then the doors and drawers are then taken to a welding department. Once the inner components, the drawers, the doors, and grills have been made, they're positioned together on a frame and held in place. The outer shell is put on a squaring fixture, and every seam is sealed with hot glue. A tight envelope makes an efficient fridge. We put some glue kind of in the cracks so that when we shoot the foam in, we don't have foam leaks. The inner compartments are then married to the outer shell, and the front face frame goes on. It's the frame of the doors and the frame of the drawers. That's what starts to take shape. The unit starts to look like a Pro 48 then. At this point, there's a lot of nudging to make sure everything is a snug fit. The assembled fridge then goes into an oven at 105 degrees Fahrenheit, so all the metal parts are the same temperature before they inject them with high-density foam. And then we shoot the foam into the cabinet, let the cabinet set in the foam fixtures for about 
five to seven minutes, and then, then you have a foam cabinet. Then it goes to the post foam department, where more components are added. What we're doing in post foam, we're putting in lights, we're kind of finishing off the inside of the Pro 48. We're putting in the condensers, the compressors. Wherever there's a seam, a connecting point, or exposure to outside air, insulation is added. Once all the main interior parts are in place, the Pro 48 gets to stand upright for the first time. At this point, the signature custom hinged doors can be attached. One of my favorite features of the Pro 40 is the hinges, and I think it's because of the amount of design time and investment, and just the look and how that was blended together. And not only a great looking hinge that looks like a fine piece of jewelry that also performs so well. From there, it's on to what's called evacuation. Evacuation is it's hooked up to vacuum pumps. We take all the air out of the system. We let it set for a period of time so that if there is any leaks from the evacuation, you'll, you'll be able to pick that up. Then we shoot it with the refrigerant. Now it goes through some of the most rigorous testing an appliance can endure. Sub-Zero builds their fridges to last at least 20 years. We have standards within our plant that you would not see anywhere else in the refrigeration industry. We test every product. Uh, four to six hours. We guarantee the defrost systems work, the controls are controlling to the points they're supposed to. The water filtration is completely checked for leaks. All the componentry is checked. Not one micron is left unmeasured. After it passes testing, the finishing touches are added in final assembly. Final assembly is putting in the shelves in the refrigerator section and in the freezer section, putting in covers on top of the refrigerator, now this steel beauty is ready to become a kitchen showcase. The stainless steel look is a pizzazz of what you get when you put a Pro 48 in your kitchen. You know, not too many people have that look and to be able to open up a door and look at all stainless steel, nice blue light hue, it's the wow factor that you get in your kitchen. And what would the grandfather of this fridge, Westy Backy, think now? Well, I think he would be very pleased. I think, again, it resonates what he was all about, that performance, the great food preservation, the quality, the hand craftsmanship, and that tie to the kitchen. <laughs>